Welcome back to the Hot Wheels room. Today we've got two boxes sealed. One from Mattel, one from M2. And these are the latest in some of the coolest toys released for summer 2017. These were released approximately June. We've got M2 Auto Trucks, the full six vehicle set. And Hot Wheels Car Culture Race Day, the full five vehicle set in duplicate. I'm going to start by opening up the Hot Wheels first. Been very excited to see this set opened up. This is how they come to the stores from the factory. Sealed quite nicely in there. Two of each car, or at least there should be. Let's get them all out now. Cool. Let's just take a quick look at each of these cars first in the package in no particular order. This is number 5 of 5. Acura NSX. All the artwork is different from each other except for the backs where you have a list and images of all five cars. The main artwork is of the car that you're getting in the package at some spot in its race. You'll see up in the top left corner. All the cars are featured throughout all five packages. And really the best explanation will come when I open these cars up and show you the package in order of the original picture. My favorite car in the bunch is this Mazda RX-3. Looks to be a 1970s model. We have seen this casting before but it is awesome to see it again with the real rider wheels. I'm going to try and be as careful as I can when opening up these packages so that I can show you what I mean with the artwork afterwards. So we'll just stack those to the side. For now the car comes out. What a cool little all metal car. Check out those slicks on it. Shiny base. Head on over to the parking lot, sir. Alright, you can choose to park there. My next favorite car would have to be the Acura NSX. Nice shiny black paint job on this one red and black that goes together just fine even the interior is red and black big metal base bet you this car would be great on the racetrack possibly not with the loop-de-loops due to the front lower valence there and another very cool model this is not a brand new casting either but it is quite a nice one the Porsche 914 Six. Nine one four dash six. Just a little wee hot wheel. It's got some substance though when it's all made of metal. Nice tamp work on that one with the flat black hood. Open air roof showing the cockpit of the car. Some great wheels on these these cars as well. Vroom. And another really cool model, haven't seen it too often, is this 78 Porsche 935-78. Quite a fast car back in the day. This is a neat one too because, well, let's get out of the package. We'll check out those wheels. They're new wheels for Hot Wheels this year. Really cool details on these and very low profile thin rubber slicks. This one's actually a fairly lightweight feeling car for being all metal. Interesting. But extremely beautiful shape on that. Very nicely proportioned. Casting by Mattel. Uh, take the curb. Uh, clunk. Whoa. And we just about lost the Porsche. One final Porsche. This has been a very Porsche heavy selection, which is pretty cool. This one here, I'm not sure if this casting is brand new or not. I think it may be the Porsche 962. Don't think we've seen that car before. There's the kitty meowing at me in the background. Look at that. Nice wheels on it as well. Great paint job. 
That is a new casting now that I look at it. Mmm, I can smell the white paint off gassing from here. Terrific smell. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Nothing quite like it. Mm. There. We've got all five cars now in the lot. This collage of pictures of each of the cars, starting at the very back of this raceway. The Nissan, followed by, or preceded by the Porsche. Another Porsche in front of that one. And you can see there, right in this picture, it starts to get a little askew. But the front of that car is right there, the yellow car is in front, and then the corner back of red of the piece from the 1978 is on that one there. And then this is where it kind of gets mixed up because that car is actually this car in the top image. While the car culture cars are busy racing around my rubber track, let's take a look at M2 and get them out for a little bit of service calls. Maybe there's a tow truck in there that can come to the aid of one of these Hot Wheels cars when it wipes out. Doom diddly doom! This is a nice big box of toys that actually doesn't go and poach the cases for rare treasure hunts and green machines and all that good stuff. So let's see what we get. Wow! That's a nice one. Green truck limited to 5,880 pieces. Oh my goodness, the cardboard smashed. That doesn't matter. We're going to get out on the racetrack with the Hot Wheels. Just go through these quickly out of the box. They come. There's a big nifty truck. Big old 58 GMC fleet option. These are all limited to 5,880 pieces. Oh, look at that. We've got the store display. Slid right out of the uh, shipping carton. This will make it a little easier. I'll save the best for last. Next up, the 65 Ford Falcon Club Wagon. A little bit of variety. We've got the tow truck that we so desperately will need. 58 Chevy LCF tow truck. No chase machine, that's okay. Then we've got this weird looking thing. The 66 Dodge L600 steak bed truck. And that's the one that everybody wants. That's the one that's not staying on any shelves for more than a minute. The 1972 Ford F100 Custom 4x4. First time we've seen this truck with the flare side fender long box option on it. And the spare wheel. Looks to be one spare wheel on one side of the box. You may already know if you have an M2 car in your collection, but oftentimes they come in these cool clear cases which make them pretty nice for displaying if you have a dusty house keep them in there or just store them in there here we go into the m2 trucks check them out out of their packaging vans pickups heavy duties no chase vehicles that's fine but they do look great next to hot wheels the scale is appropriate wait is that a door on the ground yes it is Within minutes of opening this truck out of the packaging, I accidentally broke a door off of the truck. Oh no. Broke it right off. It was just too stiff and I was trying to open it like the other door, but it wasn't having any of it. So I've broken my favorite truck in this set. Now I'm going to have to buy another one. Or maybe just put a replacement door on from one of my donor trucks. It'd be a different color, but... Might give it a nice, authentic, piece together, old truck look. Anyways, there it is, the big old 4x4. This one's also got opening doors, but after that first little fiasco, I didn't even bother trying to open any more. Usually they're fine. Pretty much have to use two hands or some sort of tool. And the van. Gotta love this old van. Lots of cool details on that thing. The tow truck, of course, with authentic tow cables, real dualies, drive shaft on the bottom, big rubber tires. And then there's this thing the little, the big express truck. Kind of a joke on the little red express pickup truck. 
Nice gold wheels, big dualies, lots of nice tampa work on this thing. And the steak truck. Meant for carrying all sorts of cargo. It's got a bit of a crooked bumper. Looks like at the factory they maybe broke it and then glued it back on, but not quite straight. Oh well, gives it an authentic old truck look, doesn't it? It's almost a big enough truck that you can carry the Porsche in it. Scrap that little Porsche. Mm. Oh my goodness. Well, that's it, folks. The carnage is over until the next video. Happy hunting.